Now I wanna talk a little bit about a very common problem in your home when you have an outlet that just won't hold the plugs in. Now this can obviously be a safety hazard because you start to expose a connected hot side piece of metal. I'm actually gonna remove this and break it open and show you what's going on inside. And then obviously also how to fix that. What happened is the clearances here that would hold the blades on a plug have really opened up. So I can pass this wire between those. Now, if I were to take a new commercial spec and try to pass that same wire, it ain't happening. So it's much tighter. Uh, this is brand new, obviously not used. Now, what should you swap that out with? This is a standard residential grade. It's not tamper resistant. So this one would be about 50 cents. This is a commercial spec made by Leviton, both of these made by Leviton, both of these 15 amp, and this is about $2. I recommend this guy. Now in your area to the code, you're most likely gonna need tamper resistant. Pretty much everywhere now you need tamper resistant where you're not able to introduce uh, any sort of object to one side where somebody could get shocked. You have to apply to both sides for that to open up. This is the equivalent residential here and I do not recommend that. It's, it's just overall pretty cheaply made. And if you're taking the time to replace, whether that's you or you're hiring that out, go ahead and get yourself uh, at least one step up with just the commercial grade, tamper resistant. One additional nice thing about this commercial is it has the feature where you can do back wire. So you're not gonna have to do those shepherd hooks, but we're gonna use back wire, which there's always a strip gauge you can match up to the strip gauge and know how much copper you need. And then you can pass that right straight in and then screw that down and that plate is gonna hold that in place and it's gonna securely hold your hot neutral side. And then you will have to do a shepherd's hook for the grounds. So just check your work, make sure everything's secure, everything looks right, there's no weak points and then start to tuck your wires back into the box so then you can uh, tighten down your mounting screws. So the power is back on, so we'll do a quick check with our outlet tester, both on the bottom. Looks good. And top also looks good. And then the true test, the issue were the two prong plugs or even really three prong, prong plugs were basically falling out. So now we have a nice secure hold and we won't have any issues for years to come.